Well, at the second day of the 2011 Women in Aviation Conference, we have the great good fortune to meet people from not only all walks of life, but all over the world. Tell us what brings you to Reno, Nevada. Okay. Reno, Nevada, just like Orlando last year, it's like a rewarding experience for me. I came in here today to share my experience as regards the ICAO scholarship I won last year. Last year, I was uh, the only African selected in the ICAO 5. All of us are meeting today, the five of us, we are all in ICAO facility for three months. We released the experience. So it's like continuing of our networking in ICAO in Montreal. We are here to get today to tell people what Women in Vision is all about, to encourage more women to participate, to tell them what more benefit that is accruable from through women in aviation. That's why I'm here. What unique challenges does aviation have to work with in Nigeria? In Nigeria, the challenge is just like in any other part of the world, has to do with fund, mm -hmm. has to do with the fund. But presently, the federal government of Nigeria has a lot of made remarkable improvement in terms of uh, provision of uh, infrastructure and manpower development. Presently, we've completed the total radar coverage of Nigeria, missing aircraft in the airspace is now in a thing of the past, in the Nigerian airspace, unlike what it used to be in the past. So with such remarkable improvement, it's been all good for us. It's awesome. We achieved Category 1 status last year. We celebrated it. We've just completed the total VHF coverage, very high frequency radio coverage of Nigeria. We've just completed the first phase. The second phase will start shortly, and I'm part of the team. I'm part of the engineering team in that project. I was also part of the engineering team that completed the integrated safe tower systems. We have modernized tower systems where we have real-time online weather information. We make use of electronic flight strips now, unlike what it used to be in the past. No more paper strips. So it's a lot of technology coming in and we are bracing up with the challenges. And we thank the federal government for their support and the provision of uh, how critical is aviation to Nigeria? Very, very critical because for any country just like Nigeria to grow its GDP, aviation is very, very vital because you need tourism. You need tourism to grow your GDP and that's why the government is investing heavily in aviation. We have direct flights from Nigeria to US, United States now, mm. unlike what it used to be in the past. It's more, the sky is now more open, so more people are coming, more investors, more money to the country, and then a lot of employment for our people. Are there unique challenges to flying in that part of the world right now? Right now, not really. In the past, yes, mm. but now, no. With the completion of the total radar coverage of Nigeria, a challenge that had to do with missing aircraft, mm -hmm. loss of uh, air missiles is a thing of the past. Because you can be tracked from anywhere within the Nigerian airspace and the neighboring West African countries. We can go as far as N'Djamena mm -hmm. from our Lagos radar. Do you have uh, an idea of the aircraft population right now? Aircraft population is increasing. Not yet up to the standard we want, but there's always room for improvement. With the achievement we made last year, more investors are coming in, more airlines are coming in. Emirates flies in twice every day from Lagos Airport. We have KLM, we have Lufthansa, we have Air France, we have China Southern coming in. We have uh, a lot of foreign airlines coming into the country. And we just had uh, United that started operation in November. It's two American airlines fly direct to Lagos presently, yes. What do you hope to get from your attendance here this year in Reno at the Women in Aviation Convention? This year, from the sessions I attended, emotional intelligence, the ha what do I do in the gap? I've been able to, as a, as a mother of two twin children, mm -hmm. it's not been easy taking my job as a career woman mm -hmm. and then being a mother and a, and a wife. But I've been able to listen to experts in the field, women who have passed through this process and are successful. I had them talk, I listened to them, I'm taking it back with me. I'm going to practice that and I believe it's going to work for me just like it worked for them. The sky, I believe is my starting point, not the end point. That's what I believe. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. 
providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.